What's up guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to YouTube. Welcome to Farm Sim. It's been a hot minute since I've done something. Uh, we've done a recording for Farm Sim. But, um, hang on. People have been doing their first looks. Um, I've had an absolute blast um, being a tester for this map. So GB Modding, dude. Honestly, mate, thank you ever so much for uh, allowing me that opportunity. And uh, it's a cracking map, but you know how much I like this map. Right, anyway, moving on. I'm not going to blow smoke up his ass for too long. I'm going to do something on here. I'm just not 100% sure um, what exactly. But all I do know is I've started in hard mode. Um, so, we don't own anything at all. Got no leased equipment. Um, and, uh, yeah, we absolutely own zero. Let me just quickly, uh, show you. Boom. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But we do have 500,000... Uh, euros. Let me change that. Can we? How do we change that? Is it, it must be a thing here, right? Euros! Look! I found it! Pounds. Boom. 500,000 pounds we now have. So, first things first. I think I know where we're going. I think we're going to go and we're going to go buy sheep. But we need vehicle. So that's the wrong button. So we're going to the shop. I've already had a quick look, as you can see. Now, look at this. Look, 175 horsepower, 44 grand. There is also a cedar, but does it? Oh, you see, we can't have that. All right, okay. Well, we don't need that either, because we don't have any animals or that require one anyway. And we don't need that. But we are definitely going to purchase this. I think. Okay, let me... Uh... Let me change the plate. Uh, it's already got GPS installed as standard for 46 grand. Seriously? Okay. Um, we do have precision farming on, but we're not going to worry about that too much for the uh, for the um, ISA, whatever that. How do you pronounce that? I would do. Um, head of management. We don't worry about that. We might have to put a front loader on it, which is another fifteen grand. Um, but that would be. Uh, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go for the quickie one, I think. I always say everyone likes a quickie, right? Uh, do I want to change the plate? I don't think, I mean, we can keep, yeah. I'm going to go for, we're going to go AP for Attingham Park. And I don't know, what should we have that on? Uh, let's have it on 705 plate on that. And then we're just going to go, oh, we, I know what we'll do. We'll go, uh, we'll go, uh, we'll go bag at the end of it. Does look like a POS bag, doesn't it, to be fair. I'm only going to have that on the back only, actually. It's a shame that you can't do yellow on the back and white on the front. It's a shame that you have to just choose the one single colour. Uh, because this is, this only does the, um, thing, so, uh, the, uh, color of the letters and numbers, sorry, my bad. Right, there we go, we're gonna go that one. And that is our first little tractor. Awesome, happy days, let's go over and, uh, go over and grab it and see what our next... 
port of call is. Look at that. I mean, it is a bit of a... It is a bit of a beast, right? It really, really is. I like that. 175 horses. That should be plenty for anything that I have in store for it. I thought about, do I... If there weren't any tractors available or cheaper like around the sort of 50k mark if there wasn't anything i was just going to buy a vehicle of some description just to get around in but it makes more sense to buy a tractor if i'm you know if i'm honest so right so let's have a little look and see what we can do for money wise tight so if we want to make money i think the best option we have here is here for 27 maybe mm, i might buy that okay so we've got that for 27 we do uh, uh we could own field nine for 20 and field 47 for 12. Right, let's just do this. We're going to buy this for 213. We're going to buy this for 27. We are going to buy field 9. And field 47. Field 47 comes with a, a greenhouse as well. So we are really dotted about everywhere at the minute. And we are now down to 178,000. So we need to start thinking about what we're going to do. We need that grass. So if we've got 175 horses to play with. So why don't we grab a front mower. We're going to buy it, I think. 15 grand. For three and a half meters, 3.1, I might just spend a little bit more money and go for that one. So that needs 95 horses. That leaves us, what, uh, 85 horsepower left if we do that one. So what I'm thinking is... A baler. Do I have it in? Yeah. 70 horsepower. 70 horses for that one. That's 200. I know that. See, that's, that's only the small squares. Yeah, I think what we're going to do, we're going to buy, we're going to buy this, we're going to buy that, and we are going to buy that front mower, and we're going to go and get that grass cut. I think that's what we're going to do today, so we're going to buy this front mower here. For 15 grand. And that. Is. Everything that we are. Going to need. To start with. We've got enough horses. To. To do this. With I think. Awesome, let's pull this round here, like so. Now, we are going to require... Have I got stop, go, braking on? I might have, actually. I need to sort out my, um... I need to sort out my key bindings and everything again, I think. Right, so here we are. We're at our field. Just turned up, and it's not ready to cut yet. So we're on growth stage two of three. So I'll put everything down and went, eh, let's do this. But I mean, we can get a bit off the edges, but 
I don't really think it's worthwhile, not quite now. So we're going to turn you off and you off, I think. And we'll turn this around. I mean, I've got a little bit in here, but not, not enough. It's nowhere near um, enough of what we want. But what we can do is go and lease ourselves a harvester, I suppose, and uh, go down and get them two fields harvested. Right, so here we are. We have leased ourselves the Rustle Mash. Is it the Nova, I think? It's the only Rustle Mashing game, I believe. So we've leased this and we've leased the header and the header trailer. We've bought ourselves a grain trailer and we're going to get these harvested it was a shame that the grass fields the grass field was not ready but hopefully we can get that all sorted for uh possibly even for the next episode maybe we can get that cut and bailed and then we need to Transport everything down. Um, so we're going to need a bale trailer. Oh man, we're going to need loads actually. <laughs> this is going to be uh, interesting. Now, I think we have to do this if memory serves. You can't get the... Uh, You can't get the header on without twisting it, I think. There we go, perfect. There we go, let's grab this off the trailer. It's been the first time I've actually done a recording as well um, with my wheel, or using my wheel. So, I don't know whether or not you're going to be able to pick up the noises from there. So, right, so here we go. Let's unfold Harvester. Drop you down. We can start, start our harvest. I don't know how much we're going to get off this. But, we do get a bit of straw as well, which we are going to need for the cows. Um, it's not going to be much though, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit time lapse, I think, on these two fields. So we'll get this one all buttoned up and get it sorted and then I will jump cut down to the next one and then we'll sort of see where we are from there. So here we go. That's nearly 
both fields harvested. We've got. Uh, I'm going to leave this. Uh, am I going to? Yes, I'm going to leave this crop in the harvester, and we're going to. Um, I will drive it back to the farm. And I think I've been kind of working out what to do. I think down here I'm not going to turn this. I'm not going to keep this in in as a field. I think I'm going to put another couple of greenhouses down here. Um, because if we do strawberries, we can sell them straight across at the bakery. So I think that might be the best option for down here. Um, it was either that or throw in some grapevines because we've got the grape processing plant just over there. So we'll see. Actually, I think the, I might do. I might put the grapes in. I might put the grapes in. A lot of people have kind of in my live streams, you know, have been sort of. Uh, so many people have said we don't have grapes in the UK, but we do. It is a thing. It is an absolute thing. So maybe, maybe some grapevines here. As long as we've got enough room to turn stuff around and bits, I can't really see it being an issue. So there we go. But, I mean, all in all, all in all, not bad. I'll make sure that I get this right because it was looks about looks about right there. Um, yeah, I think all in all, not not a bad, a bad day really. What I kind of like about this harvester is yes, it doesn't hold a great deal, but you can leave it in here because with the other ones, obviously. It, why has that pushed that all the way? Oh, it hasn't. It's fine. That in there, didn't it? Kind of do. Um, you know, you can't really leave crop in there. You shouldn't anyway. But um, because if it rains, it can get in. But this has got... This is all concealed. So I think that's... Uh, um, pretty cool little harvester, actually. It's done what we needed it to do for right now. Um, where are we going with this now? So this needs to go back to the farm where I have chosen the only farm without a silo. So GG's me. Um, but what I might do is... I need the wheat for the chickens, so we can go and put that into the actual, we could, we could buy the chickens, and do I keep that loose? I don't know, I might just keep it, could we keep it loose? I think, I think we might do that, mainly that, you know, because of the, um, go inside because we've got the uh the the dairy down there we you know we do need it's it's mainly bale storage is what we need at that farm so um it's not really done for arable so i'm gonna either have to buy a silo to put down or as i said just the little grain that we do need. It'd be nice to, to have somewhere to store it. So I don't have to... Um, um, so I can sell it at a higher price. But I mean, we've only got 10%. And we've got 533 litres of canola off that field. That was all we got, though. Um... It weren't too bad. 
Um, so it's, you know, it's, all, really, I suppose the lower yield you get, the higher price you want, I suppose. But it's neither here, here nor there, is it, for that kind. But the wheat, on the other hand, I might just max out our chickens and load into there and then move on, I think. I think that'll be a... Uh, yeah, not a bad thing to do. But it's looking like, if I can... I mean, obviously, I've got to try and chop this down into, like, a 20-minute video. But with the time lapsings and all the fuck-ups that I've done that you guys won't see. Um, <laughs> once I've sorted all that out, then uh, it should be relatively one day per video, I think. So, right, so we need the water trailer as well. Let me know in the comment section, guys. I don't know. I won't do another video on this. Let me know. Shall we do grapes or shall we do greenhouses? Down at field 42. Or 45. 42. Down near the bakery. What should we do down there? Can I max me chickens out here? Let's have a look what we've got. Uh, so we can get, oh yeah, we don't get 30 chickens, so let's not worry about a rooster, and should we go for, <sighs> hmm, do I just spend out the little amount? Or shall we just do, I think considering for the price. Just going to go in for the full 30 there, I think. Buy all you. Awesome job. So there we go. There are chickens. Now we need to bring our food down for them. Um, see, I wonder, could I... How much is a silo? Before we finish this video, how much is a small... Silo, see, 100. That's the hayloft. Smallest one we can get is 117 grand. Okay. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hang on, this silo can be filled with different products. Can we put seek? Oh, can we put grain in this? I wonder. I wish these were refill points. I wish you could store in here as well. Buy feed. Uh, you know, for all, all of these, these are pretty cool, but you can't... Um... Uh, but yeah, we can't store there, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, right, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. I've got a little bit of tidying up to do, and then we'll move into the next day. All right, thank you ever so much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Drop me a comment. Let me know um, what we should do about the uh, things. Yep, I completely forgotten what I asked you to do. Rewind and find out for me. Drop it in the comment section. <laughs> um, no, the grapes or the um, or the greenhouses. Let me know what you want to do with them and uh, look after yourselves. Take care of each other and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.